All right, hello. This is Ange. Um, I'm a person who's been reading visual novels for about nine years or so now, uh, but only just last year did I take it upon myself to actually start learning Japanese so I can, you know, part, partly to read visual novels in Japanese because at this point I've basically read the vast majority of visual novels translated into English, so I figured this is like the next step in my visual novel reading career. So I see a lot of people that say they want to read visual novels in Japanese, you know, but you know, instead they rather wait for an English translation because, you know, Japanese visual novels have scary looking moon runes or whatever. And sure, there is a lot of work to be done as far as learning Japanese, but personally, I don't think visual novels in Japanese is as scary to read as people might think and uh, in this video I want to show that um, you know I, I, I just want to show a sample of how I personally read visual novels in Japanese and give a very brief intro of what you need to get started to do that. So from my experience uh, the absolute bare minimum you need to read visual novels is firstly you need to study the hiragana alphabet uh, it has about 50 characters. This, uh, these characters are used for Japanese words and it's very helpful for you know understanding the sounds in the Japanese language as well as reading kanji and, and such. Uh, after that you'd want to learn katakana which are, is another alphabet in the Japanese language that is mainly used for foreign words like hambaga or onomatopoeia, which are which is, are like your sound effects. Um, and after you know those two alphabets, uh, you want to actually learn the, the the basic fundamentals of Japanese grammar, which includes things like particles, conjugations, and all that stuff and there's actually a few places where you can learn that and it, it's pretty straightforward and helpful for beginners um, one of the more popular ones is Tai Kim's uh, learn Japanese guide where he has a whole grammar guide essentials and he, 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 he kind of kind of just like a an almost cliff notes method of learning Japanese but it's very he gives examples and it's just it's very straightforward for people to understand and there's a few exercises for each lesson um there's wasabi which has it's kind of similar to uh to tai kim's but uh it seems like it's more of a reference guide but it uh it does have a cool outline for each of the uh different kinds of particles and uh, conjugations and other grammar stuff that can be helpful. Uh, there's Imabi, which is also similar. It, ha it divides uh, what you need to learn by uh, by difficulties, beginners, intermediate, advanced. Although this this one can be a bit wordy, wordy. So there's it, like it gives a lot of different examples and explanations, but still, it's it's it can still be pretty helpful if that's if the type of lessons you're interested in. And then of course there's the Genki 1 and 2 books which is kind of used more for school-like settings but um, while unlike the other three examples that I showed it actually does teach vocab and has pictures and stuff and has a lot of exercises to make, make sure you know like you're implementing the grammar and using it and understanding it correctly. So all four of those are decent options that you can use to learn grammar and which, whichever one seems interesting to you, just go for that one. Um, but, you know, believe it or not, uh, even though this, that looks like a lot to, you know, start off with you, if you like really crank out and do at least like a few hours of studying a day, you can, um, tackle the hiragana, katakana, and grammar within like two months or less, but you know, if you're a little busy or something might be a little harder to 
you know, find time might be close to like three to six months, but you know, the key is motivation and consistency of learning. So even if you like do at least 15 minutes a day or so, you know, it's better than just like doing two, three hours and then like not studying for another few days. And then, you know, you kind of forgot what you learned. So I would, if I had to choose one, you know, make sure you study at least a little tiny bit every day, but you know, the more, the better you know, to, to learn faster. And then, you know, another big part of learning Japanese is kanji and vocabulary. And, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of kanji uh, and that's really scary for people to start off with when they're, you know, learning Japanese. And, you know, honestly, you don't have to like know a lot of kanji to, you know, get started reading visual novels, especially with the tools that I'm going to present in a little bit. But, you know, of course, if you want to, you know, have some flashcard app like Anki, you can, like, knowing more kanji vocabulary can certainly make the reading process of visual novels a lot faster because you're otherwise you're just going to be looking up a lot of words. But, you know, like I said, this is this visual, this uh, video is going to assume that you have at the very, very minimum, you know, know the hiragana, katakana, and um, basic fundamentals of grammar, and that's how, that's, that's the, I'm just gonna, we're gonna go with that minimum when I'm, when I'm presenting my demonstration to you guys. So, you know, just a little heads up, this video is not gonna be talking about translating visual novels, like, we're just talking about reading. Translating is, is its own art form, and I, I haven't even gotten to that point. And you know, I've seen some guides about reading versus translating, and you know, we we want to just focus on comprehending what we're reading, and not like trying to like translate it to an English, because you know, Japanese has its own sentence structures. So all we want to do is focus on understanding what's going on, and not like trying to understand it or translate it into the English language. So. The visual novel that I decided to choose for this demonstration is Koisuru Kimochi no Kasane Kata. Uh, this is a visual novel I actually have not started reading yet, so I think it's a, a good choice to show off in this demonstration so we can kind of go through it together the first time. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a fan of slice of life romance visual novels, so, and Many people say that starting with these are a lot easier, well, or at least a little bit easier to read than like a, a story-based visual novel like Baldur's Sky, for example. But, you know, I would say even though you should just, even though like story VNs like Baldur's Sky might be a little harder, probably in terms of like what kind of vocab they use and such, I think you should go, re go read like what personally interests you because if you know, if you, this is going to be, I mean, is, even though, like, if I, you, like, study the main three tools that I, you know, talked about above, it's still going to be slow, and ultimately, you're going to need a motivation to keep reading uh, visual novels, so read something that at least is going to keep you interested, you know, throughout the whole uh, visual novel reading process, because, you know, we want to, at the end of the day, you know, reading visual novels is a hobby, and, you know, you want to keep it fun, and, you know, if you if you want to, if we're going to, we're going to be learning while we're understanding the story. So as if, if, so just pick a visual novel that where you, you'll consistently be interested in figuring out what's going to happen next, as opposed to just being like, okay, well, I'll just, you know, use some visual novel that's a little easier and then I'll grind it out so I can read something that I like later. So yeah, just, just go for something that you personally like. Anyway, uh, in order to get this started, I'm going to have to set a few things up. So, you know, when you're reading visual novels in Japanese, you're going to have, just like, you know, reading some English translated visual novels, we're going to have to uh, set our locale to English. So we can do that here in the region section. Um, I am already on system locale Japanese, but, you know, this is where you would change it. Um, for the visual novel that I chose, I'm actually going to have to change the uh, region format to Japanese because otherwise sometimes the characters uh, don't show up correctly in the visual novel, which is 
generally a rare thing. Like usually you only have to change your locale and not the format to Japanese, but for this one, I'm going to change it. So we'll go with that. Uh, secondly, we're going to open up a tool called Text Tractor, uh, which is a tool publicly released by Articash in January 2019. Uh, in text, text Tractor is a you know as as the name implies it's a text extracting tool and you know when you're reading visual novels you're gonna you know you're gonna see a lot of text that you don't know or like you don't and you, you know you're gonna want to look some things up so with tools like text tractor we can uh you know look up be able to copy the text from clipboard and put it on a little screen here so if you want to look things up you can do that a lot easier than you know having to guess like what the kanji and the vocab is straight from the VN itself. So it, it's good to have the text available here. Nextly, we're gonna open Translation Aggregator, and generally that's a tool we use or people use to, or the original purpose was. Oops, that's a a tool people generally use to uh uh. Machine, do machine translations of Japanese text, but we don't want to do machine translation uh, for when we're reading visual novels in Japanese because you know there's there's a lot of flaws for in machine translation and there's just a lot of context that's going to be missed if you use that. So the main reason that we're using translation aggregator is not for translation, but for this very useful tool called JParser, which is a uh, a tool where after we you know extract the text from the visual novel into text tractor we can have the text uh, be copied over here in jparser and we can actually look up words and kanji and uh, grammar um, through words that will show up here and you can highlight the words and then a lot of the kanji will have furigana which is basically the the hiragana readings of the kanji so it, this this is a very convenient way to you know look up words and um, read kanji without having to go to a another separate tool to do that like a the G Show dictionary site or Weblio or one of those tools. Um, so I'm not gonna go into like big detail of you know setting up text tracker translation aggregator because. You know, there's 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 a lot that can be done with this, but I can make another video sometime in the future if people want to where I can uh, explain that. All right, now that we've got all that set up, let's actually start reading a visual novel in Japanese. So I have the visual novel shortcut all here on my desktop for ease of use. We're going to go through the title and skip the opening just so we can get right into it. All right, now, now that we're at this point, um, what we're gonna do is um, attach text tractor to the visual novel. And to do that, you can click attach to game, um, click ADB HD, which is the name of this EXE, but you know there's different types of executable names for different visual novels or it can be based on the engine name or the visual level name but thankfully for this one it's just ADBHD so that's not too bad. As you can see text tractor is inserting a lot of hooks to prepare um, for when you know, the visual novel starts actually showing text that you can extract that you want to read but right now since we're on the title screen we don't have to worry about that. Um, one thing you may notice is that, you know, on the menu screen, there's actually a lot of English. And, you know, this isn't too uncommon in Japanese visual novels, especially in the Slice of Life ones. There's a decent amount of English text that, that, that's shown that I don't, I don't know why there is, but maybe they just, maybe they're expecting English readers to be interested, or maybe the Japanese like the English language a lot. But, you know, as you can see, there's actually a pretty good amount of English in the different settings here, but. You know, this isn't always the case. A lot of the times, it's, you kind of have to rely on reading the katakana. So, like for example, you can say, you can read here. It says, "kuri kude," something, and then su skip bu. So, you know, clicking skip. Even if you don't know what this is, you know, clicking you can skip. You're, you're skipping something. So, in this case, it would be the voice. So, you know, 
a voice script by click and uh, actually, personally, I don't want to do that, so let's turn that off. And it looks like in this visual novel, this color means it's, this is what's currently chosen, so... Um, anyways, now that we have all that started, let's get started. So one thing uh, to keep in mind when you know reading visual novels and the Japanese language in particular, there's a lot of uh, context you have to know to figure out what's um, being said in the current sentence. So as you can see in this scene, um, we're in some kind of school, and you know the protagonist looks like he just knocked on the door to some room, um, and you know in the Japanese language. It's a bit different compared to the English language because in the English language, you, in order to have a full sentence, you need a generally need like a sub a subject, um, verb, and an object, usually in that order. Um, but in the Japanese language, you know, you can have really short sentences that just has like one word or one verb or something, and, and depending on the context, that can actually be a complete sentence. So that's this is why uh, context is very important to know when uh, reading in Japanese. So. Just make sure you're paying attention to the visuals, like what's been going on, what just happened in the line before, etc. To and that'll that'll help you understand like what's being said in the current language or the current sentence. Um, so as you can see, uh, you know we see a lot of text here, and you know there's a decent amount of kanji we may not know. And uh, what we want to do is have text tractor. Um, and text actually we want to go in this drop down here and um, find the correct uh, hook that you know figured got the um, a good amount of the text so we can actually start you know looking up words and stuff. So generally, I find you know when you start from the bottom and go up, most likely you'll find the most useful um, uh, hooks from by starting from the bottom, or closer to the bottom. So let's just start from the bottom. It looks like this drop down has like a lot of useless information we don't want to see, so we don't want to use that. Uh, looks like this one got almost the whole sentence, but it looks like it's missing uh, a character at the end, so we probably don't want that one. It looks like this one's the same, it's also missing a character at the end, so it looks like we're probably not going to use this one. Ah, but this one is great. Uh, looks like it, it has the name of the character that's speaking and then it has looks like it has all the text which is great um it is not grabbing the fruity ghana that's being shown in the visual novel but you know since this translation aggregator is going to be doing that anyway we probably don't want to work that speaking of which sometimes you know there's some issues with translation aggregator actually pulling from the vn so um for you know something so generally what you want to do is um in Transition Aggregator, now that we have this all set up in Text Tractor, we want to click Tools, Launch Text Hooker. Um, similar to what we did in Text Tractor, we want to inject into the current running process, which is in the VN. Since we have an internal hook with Text Tractor, we're going to choose Internal Hook. And then we choose ADVHD and click OK. Now, sometimes, uh, translate, like I was saying, Transition Aggregators can sometimes not grab the text from here right away so what we can do is exit it and then open it again and you know voila the uh the uh, text is showing up now so not all visual novels will have this issue some usually it'll be a little bit easier but i guess for this particular one sometimes it can be an issue but anyways as we can see here um the text is in transition aggregator j parsers matching exactly what's being shown text tractor but it has a lot of highlighting, so as you can see, if you highlight this word, um, you can see the reading, the various different readings of this kanji, which is you know hasu, hachisu, hasu, um, sacred lotus. I mean, that looks like a very specific uh, translation of the um, this person's name, and you know. I think we want to know like what his actual name is. So what we can do is copy the um, the this character here, and then go to the characters tab in the VNDB page and figure out like what this guy's name is. And it looks like uh, this guy's name is Ren. So you know this is just something we can uh, keep a note on. So you know 
this set, we can not, if we, you know, want, don't have to keep looking this up, we can be like, okay, so when this character shows, that means Ren's talking. But thankfully, since he's the visual novel as protagonist, you know, that's probably not going to be too hard to keep track of, but it can be good to have, like, keep a, a list of notes while you're reading the original we can, uh, refer to. Um, so anyways, now that we have all that, we want to, you know, read the rest of the sentence now that we know who is talking. So let's open up text checking to the again. So, looks like he's, uh, saying, Shitsude shimasu, you know, which is a common saying that says, you know, excuse me for the intrusion. Um, he looks like he's from some kind of 2A, and if we read this uh, kanji here, he's saying Mitoshi, which is year, so it looks like he's saying he's a second year A Kumi. So it looks like he's. There's a lot of different uh, uh, trans, uh, different meanings for this kanji, but it looks like he. I mean, based on the context, he's clearly saying that he's in class 2A, so okay, he's, and he's saying, so far he's saying that he's in, he's part of the excuse in class 2A, um, now in this section he's saying Kojio, which is saying Imperial pal Palace, that kind of seems like a, uh, that doesn't seem like a, a word that you would just say in real life, so he might be referring to a uh, person's name, um, and Oh, well, what do you know? This kanji is like exactly the same as um, this kanji, so we can kind of guess that he's introducing his name here. So let's uh, copy these this char these characters and see if it matches up. And what do you know? It's matching up. So looks like he's uh, based on what we see here. He's introducing himself as Ogi Ren to you know, whoever is he's knocking on the door to. So. Now that we got all that, we can finally go to the next line. And now we have a, another uh, orange haired girl here, and you know, we want to, if we want to see what her name is, we can do the same thing we did with Ren, is uh, in text structure, we can go here and copy uh, the text here and uh, go to the BNDB page, uh, paste and Looks like her, he's introduced, looks like this character's name is Saudi. So, what we can do is go back and, as you notice, something that's interesting with, um, with translation aggregators, it, it looks like it automatically tries to translate, uh, what's currently on your clipboard when you click Control C. So, right now, we have only have, like, this character's name. So, if we want everything in the sentence to show what we can do is, uh, Highlight this and uh, highlight, and sometimes it doesn't work. So, work, even when that happens, you know, we're gonna have to. Hushida la NG. And you know, here we go. The, the full sentence is showing up again. So, reading the sentence, she's saying onajiku, and uh, looks like he's saying same, similar. So, and looks like the two a or two or ni. Hoshi e Kumi matches up with what Ren was saying, so it looks like she's saying, oh, well, I'm also from class 2A. And then if we go to the next part, she says, Gakusei, which, student, which means student, okay. And now she's saying, Kaicho. Okay, so it seems like she's introducing herself as like a, a class president. And then we have the null particle. And one thing you... And one thing you may have noticed is the uh, while all most of the words are in green, particles are in gray. So that's like a good way to you know figure out where particles are in the sentence. So you know if you're still getting used to like re differentiating between particles and different characters, this uh, tool could definitely help with, like figure out um, which parts of the sentence are particles or not. But anyways, um, Suki um, means. It looks like it could mean moon or Monday, but you know, let's read the rest of the sentence to make sure that's what she's actually saying. Shima can mean island or turf. That seems, you know, so far that seems kind of weird. Oh wait, looks like these characters right above are matching up. So it looks like she's uh, introducing herself as um, 
So let's see if these characters before her uh, given name are matching up. So let's copy this again. And what do you know? She's introducing herself as Tsukushima Saori. So looks so based on this, we, we we can figure out that this person's saying, okay, well, I'm also from Class 2A. I'm the class president, um, Tsukushima Saori. So now that we know that, let's, let's go to the next ones. You know, it's, we don't know a character yet. It's obviously going to show us question mark, question mark. And um, ha, looks like he's saying Ire. But this could also be read as a uh, Haere, which is sound, which uh, sounds like what uh, the character was saying in the voice acting. Uh, as you can see, some verbs have a lot of different meaning meanings here. But you know, if you listen to what the guy said, he said Haere. So I think it's safe to say um, we, we can refer to the one, the little part that says Haere here, and says to enter, to go into, and. He seems like he's telling these two characters that you can come into this room that he's in. So now that we know all that, let's go to the next line. Um, see so here, uh, translation aggregator had an issue with not pulling the text value. So what we could do is cop and highlight the text and click Control C. Or sometimes with some visual novels, all you have to do is just highlight it and it works. But anyways, <clears throat> and look now we're now it's saying. Koe, his voice. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Omoni. Um, like I see a few meanings, like mainly chief. I mean, who knows? It could be one of these two. But let's go to the next word just to figure that out. Hanojite. Reaction response. So hanojite. So it looks like um the. He's saying this main important uh, reaction, but let's, I mean, there, there could be multiple ways to read this, so let's read the rest of the sentence to see, like, what he's saying, so, Junji, you know, moment, so, that makes sense, and at this moment, um, Ore, which is, you know, a Japanese saying, say, like me, um, kara, Karada, which is body, which could, you know, just, could, just, yeah, seems like he's saying, my body at this moment. Ga, uh, kowabaru, um, stiffening. So okay, so what we can guess is the protagonist, when he heard this guy's voice, he, he got his body stiffened up. Like okay, I mean, you know, maybe he's scared of this this guy that started talking, or he's just nervous in general. So it seems like, um, he's basically saying this. His reaction to this voice got him and it got his body stiffened up. So now we know that. Let's go to the next line. Okay. Um, now that we have all this next text, looks like he's saying ore again. Wa kincho. So this looks like this word is tension, nervousness. Like, okay, so he's talking about his nervous so far. Whole, oh yeah, whole gusu. Um, you talk. Look, I mean, there's multiple meanings here, but it looks like he's, he's loosening. It looks like his tensioning is loosening. Tame. Um, this, this man, there's a lot of meanings here. So this, this might be an, an issue where like you don't know like what the. Uh, uh, the, the grammar is being used here, so for now we can go back and maybe maybe reading the rest of the sentence can help us figure out what that is. But um, Ichido, we have here. It says he's reading once at a, it could be once, one time, temporarily, one degree. Okay, so we go next thing. Futo, which is, looks like an automatopoeia, so it's with a with a whiff or. Which I'm, I'm guessing is what he's referring to because he's uh, you know nervous right now and he wants to calm down, but maybe that may not be the case. So go to the next word. Ikkyo suite. Yep. So I was right. So he's saying he's he's taking a break. He's taking a breath, a little breather because he's nervous. Ikkyo suite. Um. Doa nobu. So okay. So now he's looks. He's like he's thinking about opening that door. Te o 
Pakete, uh, laying hands on. Okay, taking, um, looks like he's putting his hands on the doorknob, so... What we can gather from them sentences, um... When he looks like he's trying to say, you know, I'm... While trying to take a deep breath from being nervous, you know, he, he just opens the, the doorknob. Okay, we got the general gist of the sentence, so let's go to the next one. As you can see here, sometimes there's there's issues with uh, hooking the beat or hooking the text, so I might have to do this where I uh, open, open or close the open. Um, Gakuse Kae, which is you call it, he's referring to the student council. Uh, Shitsu. Okay, so he's talking about the student council room. No, Hikido. sliding door. Okay, so it looks like it's a sliding door. So. Speed cancel the sliding door. Nazeka. Alright, looks like it's a common saying that means for some reason or somehow. Itsumo. Always, okay. Yorimo. Uh, rather than. Okay, so he's comparing to always for some reason. Compared to what's usually true for something. Omoku. Um, heavy. Like this looks like almost I mean heavy, slow, important, serious, solid. But we can let's go to the next room to see what it what, what he's referring to. Looks like he's saying kanjiru, so it's feeling. So looks like based on what he's saying, the student council um, sliding door feels a, probably feels a little heavier than usual. And you know, based on this, you could probably assume it's because this guy is a little bit nervous, and even though you know he's trying to take a deep breath, so. Looks like a little nervous to go into this room so far, so let's see what happens when he goes into this room. Oh, and uh, looks like he's uh, saying Jitsureishimasu uh, again, like he's part of the intrusion. Okay. Alright, uh, looks like we got a a really dark image of this guy here. Um, so, looks like he's saying a meno mai. So, before his eyes, man. Okay, so this guy before protecting his eyes, be do quiver, dani even. Okay, sezu without. So, looks like saying without even a slight movement. Okay. Or Tachi Ni. So, us, which I figured the protagonist is referring to him and Saudi. Um, <clears throat> Senakao Muketa. So, it looks. So, one cool thing about this, um, this program is it tells you if a verb is in the past tense or whatever tense. So, looks like this guy's, um, his back turned on them. Mama, which means as it is currently. So basically, we're guessing like his his turned back to the two of them. Hodo. All right. So he's saying window. Yozo. Um, outside those people another place. So I'm guessing he means he's looking outside a window. O nagamete. Looking okay, so he's currently looking outside a window with his back turned. Okay, all right, ore ni suzuite continuing. Okay, so uh, the guy is continuing something. Suna Aori that looks like. Um, a name, so I'm gonna. Yeah, it looks like it matches up with the thing, so yeah. So it looks like he's saying salary, so to me, continuing salary, Shitsunai, inside the room, okay. Hairi, okay, so. So it looks like he's continuing. I, I, oh, I see. See, see, see. There's more uh, information on. So after that, this is why you have to look at all the different definitions to make sure you got the right one. So after, looks like after. He's saying after me, salary, 
inside the room entered. Like, okay, so that makes sense. So, we have Ore wa Shizu Kani. So, it looks like quietly. Okay. As you notice, this one says it's an adverb and not an adjective. Hibira door. Okay. Shimeta. Alright, so, looks like he's saying after. Uh, Sour into the room, this protagonist quietly closed the door. Makes sense, right? So, Alright, which means, and then, so after that, Suguni, immediately, right away, okay. And so it's like, looks like, yeah, Saori, toll, so with, with Saori, Hana, Hana, or Narabi, um, so looks like he's, Lining up with Saori, I, I figure side by side or something. She say o tadashite. All right, so he's straightening himself. Or no, o toko. So looks like maybe he's referring to this guy that is straightening himself. Um, oh no, but there's me. The me part goes from maybe to them. So we'll see. Say taishita. Okay, so. Looks like um, after uh, the protagonist lined up with Saori, this um, this man, this man to this man, um, we we find they're standing up straight and meeting him face to face. Okay. All right. This is Saori talking, and she's saying, "Oh, you'll be call invitation." Okay. Shoka. Okay, so she's basically saying you called us, didn't you? Um, and then Rijo Cho. Oh, so this looks like this guy is the board chairman. So Salary saying, oh, so you, you called us uh, the board, ch Mr. Board Chairman or whatever. Huh. Ah, uh, well, this doesn't really have a translation, but it basically means yep. So we don't really need to hook that anyway. Okay. Uh, otoko guy, man. Okay, you kuri slowly. Um, yeah, this is slowly. Sorry, sorry for the for skipping. I already know that word. Uh, buri kairi. Um, turning around. Okay, looks like he's this guy is this man is slowly turning around. Finally, um, ore tachini. Us to the two of them. Okay, cow. Face okay, so his face or his look, Muketa. So okay, he's, he's finally turned his face to the two of them. All right. As you can see here, um, sometimes I still have issues with a uh, getting text a hook. Sometimes it hooks instantly. Sometimes I have to like, keep control, seeing, but you know, finally shows up. So, Sumanakata. There's a there's a lot of means here, but. Based on the uh, context, it's probably saying, uh, sorry, or excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Um, Kuni. Okay, suddenly. Okay, she's Kuni, suddenly. Yobi dashite. Okay, it looks like he's apologizing for suddenly calling them in. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> All right, so now Saori is saying, "Oh no, no, no problem." Yeah, Honjitsu today. Okay. Okay, this is an example of a uh, J parser being, you know, not the most perfect thing. So this, I think this is supposed to say uh, Honjitsu wa do, not ha do being like a its own wave motion thing. So. This is probably something where, if you don't know what Dol is, you can look it up in G Show. So, well, we can we can have that ready just in case. But anyways, let's go to the rest of the sentence before we do that. Ita, okay. Go yo then business. Okay. So something, some kind of business. Yo yo ken So before I look this up, I have my my personal guess is like, oh, oh yeah. Um, so. Sounds like you have this girl's asking, so it seems like you have business with us or something? I'm like, okay, so the 
cool thing about using G-Shulk here is uh, you can just copy a whole sentence and you can have it, you can, it's like a cool secondary guide if, you know, if this doesn't work, if like something seems wrong here, so. So dull pi doesn't mean that, doesn't mean all this, so. Okay, well, looks like a, maybe, maybe this is just something that they can't be found by, uh, oops, they can't be found by, uh, you know, going through G-Show here, so. By my guess here is like she's saying, oh, you have business with us, right? Okay, um... Ma, which is kind of like a, well, yeah, or, well, I think it would seem, okay. Tachi... The voice acting sounded like he said Tachibana. Oh, but no, he said yeah, Tachibana. Tachibanashi, he's just talking while standing, okay. So, more could mean many things, but I think it's, even if it's standing, I can say with confidence while standing, okay. Kaketa, hung up, putting, put on, put on my. Okay, so this is, usually that's like a, like this could this is like a type of word you put when uh saying before or in front of head. So this one this one could be a little difficult because there's so many meetings for this, but my personal guess is saying, well, you know, I'm it's, I can I'm just you know talking while standing whatever. I I I'm, I wanna maybe I can figure this out by going to the next one. Just... Okay, so we've we've seen this since he's saying hi, he's thinking, alright. Um, it's part of the intrusion, like whatever, okay. Alright, so... Uh, he's saying, Otoko... Ga... Nfuya... Or, sorry, so sofa! Wow, sometimes I get that mixed up, so he's saying... Alright, so this guy on the sofa... Koshi o Oroshita... Alright, sat down, okay. Mite... Okay, so he's saying, um, this looks like he's watch he's watching the guy sit on the sofa. Mite is being to see, of course. Um, and then um, looks like this is Salary's name again. Yep. So, uh, Salary uh, ga Mugai. He's facing toward, or Salary is facing towards, um. The sofa, Suwata. Okay, so it seems like Salary um, facing towards the so face towards the sofa also sits down. Or, all right. So, okay. Um, looks like this is um, Soul is kind of like a casual thing. That's more like saying, you know, alright, yeah, that's it, or that's it, or something, but that's, fortunately, that's not conveyed properly here, so that's something you kind of have to know or look up. So, ore, me, with me, uh, salary, yeah, right, um, hogako, after school, okay, rijo, rijo, cho, board chairman, okay, so, after school to the board chairman, Yobi da sareta. All right, so let's see. Saying, all right, yeah, that's right. With uh, me, with a uh, salary, we got summoned by the board chairman. Um, he called. He got. He called us after school. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so sounds like she's saying Ren Kun, and you know that matches up with with the protagonist name we were looking up earlier. So, yep, seems about right, but. That's why you can't necessarily overly rely on the uh, the the translations or lookups you have here. You kind of have to, you know, know the context. Like, you know, kanjis can have different readings based on who's talking. And thankfully, in visual novels, you know, characters talk, so it's well, it can be easier to figure out what they're saying there. What 
Okay. This guy... Okay, so it looks like this guy has a name now, but it looks like he's just board chairman. I'm like, okay, that, that works for now. Nani? That generally means what? Oh. I think this, once again, this is like a, an issue with, um, sometimes, you know, you can't just, uh, rely solely on, like, what it looks like, so... He's saying nani o shiteru, he's basically saying, you know, what are you doing? Okay. Oh my. Which is, you know, the, the rude way of saying you. Um, mo also, that's generally what it's used for in this case. Suwara nasai. He's always like, hey, you know, you, you need to sit down too. And he's telling this to the protagonist, obviously. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I apologize. I don't know why this this visual novel is a little bit more difficult to use it, but basically he's also saying, uh, "Oh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry for the intrusion." And then looks like he's a uh, some sound effect sounds like he's sitting down as well. So, but we'll see by reading the rest of the sentence. So, <clears throat> so no that voice. Okay, so that voice, hot toll. Um, he was either taken aback or suddenly, quickly, so either the voice was quickly, naughty, which can mean or something, or, I guess, soon, or probably as soon as, you know, he, he suddenly said that voice came out, um, the protagonist, or Sugini, immediately, um, salary, you know, we can, can confirm that again, but, uh, yeah, it's, this looks, is looking like, yeah, salary, um, no tonari, so, Next to salary, Suwari. Um, so we see sitting. It's just sitting next to salary, right? Yep. Okay. Kaban. Okay. So a bag, most likely, but you know, could be going off to you know. Um, sofa. Okay. No, waki. Okay. In addition to. Armpit under one, so besides close to, so I'm guessing if he's talking about a, a sofa, a bag, he's sitting next to a bag so far, but let's see what this says. Ta te ga keta. Okay, so he's saying the bat, this bag here, um, on the sofa, um, Link, he's, he's leaning on the sofa near a bag or something. I'm like, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so now the board chairman's saying more can I mean it can generally mean already or something, but it can also mean geez, but you know, let's figure out what the rest of the sentence is saying. Okay, winter clothing. So he's talk he's probably talking about their winter uniforms or something, so he's probably saying, Oh, you're already in your you know beautiful you're already in your winter uniform, huh? Like hi yai early, like and that's early. Oh, okay, so he's he's commenting on your clothes. Alright, I think uh that's probably about it. I just wanted to give show like a little demonstration of like what the uh, of you know what reading a visual is like and you know, you know, I was going a little slower just so I can like kind of show my thought processes so I mean it's still going to be a little slow even if you're just reading by yourself but hopefully uh you, you got the general idea of, of how it works to be able to read a visual model in Japanese you know I'm sorry that you know I had there were a few uh issues with a, a translation aggregator J parser not hooking the text consistently but you know that's the experience I've been having recently and hopefully when you set yours up it's it's a little bit more consistent and, you know, it's still fast for you to look up words and such. Um, but, uh, anyways, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, just tell me what you, uh, think in the comments. Uh, if you want to, if there's any other, you know, visual novel related videos you want to see related to, you know, reading visual novels in Japanese or installing text tractor translation aggregator or whatever, uh, feel, feel free to let me know, but, you know, I'll be sure to include some links to, like, all the tools I mentioned earlier, so, uh, well, until then, uh, have a good day, everybody.